Hello guys, Tools20 here and welcome back to Sears Skylines Miami. Thanks to everybody who joined the live stream last weekend, it was super fun. We did a lot of work, a lot of zoning, a lot of work in the downtown and yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. It's always a lot of fun doing some live streams on the weekend. Um, I've been live streaming every weekend um, lately so yeah, that's been lots of fun. Make sure you join it. Uh, we usually do Marble Mountain but I did Miami last week and yeah, it was pretty good. So I think I might do it again this weekend or maybe Marble Mountain again, I haven't decided. Uh, but you guys probably have noticed that this episode is way shorter. Um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, I probably did the same amount of work, um, if not more work, in this episode. And for some reason, when I started putting this episode together, it just like came under 10 minutes and I don't know what happened. So, uh, well, actually, I do know what happened. I think I was deleting a lot of, I, I wasn't recording a lot of what I was building. And that's, that's because I felt like I was doing a lot of repeating. Um, I also do a lot off camera, not around this area. So like a lot of other expanding and I didn't record it um, because I usually do a live play, which I'm not doing at the end of this episode. I decided, well, it was also, I recorded all this after the live stream. Um, so I was by the end of the day when I'd already been working a lot on Miami and doing the live stream, I was pretty burnt. And I just thought, you know what? Maybe we won't do a live, uh, live part for the Miami episode. Um, but now looking at this time, my god, 10 minutes. It's pretty short, so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I can promise you I actually spent the same amount of time working on this one. Um, the episodes actually take like five hours, if longer, to record. They take a pretty long time to record, not to mention all the um, other bits and pieces that go into making an episode. Um, but in the cinematics at the very end of the episode, you'll see like all the stuff that I do, uh, all the stuff off camera. I do a lot of stuff with the helicopters, which you'll see start flying around um, at the end of this episode. You actually saw, a f probably, you probably, I don't know, did you guys see the helicopter at the beginning of this episode? Uh, yeah, well, I've just been playing around with it and man, it really adds to the skyline seeing some helicopters flying around. So um, look forward to that at the very end. Um, and I also start working on some fairy lines, which um, you guys have to give me some advice about because um, after placing them down, I don't know if I've done it in a particularly realistic way. So just let me know if you think I can change them up. But um, yeah, I do like seeing the fairies and the water come alive a little bit more, which is nice. And we are doing quite a lot of work around the water in this episode. So I'm developing up this whole harbor area. Um, I sort of expect us to get done the entire length of the harbor, um, like all the way around. Uh, where the downtown is, but I just didn't get that far. Um, probably because I spent so much time working off camera, so you're gonna see a lot of jump cuts. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what was going on. Uh, I tell you what, just because I am working in vanilla doesn't make things easier. It's kind of crazy. I think because I am working with vanilla, I'm finding things more challenging because I've got less to work with. So it's actually a, a much harder way of building. Um, I've been talking to a lot of my patrons who have been building in Miami and they've been saying the same thing. Uh, like, dude, please download some more assets. It's, we're like dying in here, but uh, no, nah, gonna stick with my guns. No more um, custom assets. Though, you guys did agree that I can start using Traffic President mod, which is great. Um, I'll start using it in the next episode. Um, and in the next episode, we're going to start filling out this area um, way more. I want to do heaps of zoning and just like, I don't know, potentially double the population. Um, we're sitting at about 19,000 and you can see quite a lot of people are moving in, which is really nice. Um, I think that a lot of people are moving into the buildings that I've been plopping down and um, a lot of the commercial areas aren't uh, occupied yet so there's actually no workers there. Um, just because I've been doing things a bit untraditionally like just placing down buildings rather than waiting for them to uh, spawn at automatically, not automatically, what am I looking for? Organically. That's Is, is that even the right word? I don't know. Uh, but basically I'm not letting the offices and the commercial districts spawn because they have a demand. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I've been forcing them into growing and uh, that's causing not problems, but it's meaning that people then occupy that area when they want to. So I've got a lot of empty buildings and that's why you'll see the, uh, I guess the people moving in fluctuate quite a lot and uh, that's, that's totally cool. I'm, I'm totally happy with that uh, because 
I don't know, we also fluctuate between making money and not making money, which is uh, sort of the case with this game. Like, I feel like there's huge amounts of fluctuation with making profits, so I don't really, really know what's going on there. Maybe it's a bit broken, maybe it's um, something that I'm doing that's not working very well, but yeah. I don't know, I would like to make a bit of profit. I always like to try and make a bit of a profit, even though I'm very unsuccessful in doing that. Um, but we should talk about what I've been up to because, you know, it's already halfway through the episode and I haven't even spoken about that. So we are doing quite a lot of work around the water side, making sure that we have a lot of these parklands. Um, they're all sort of built on these, I guess, old docks and old industrial areas. Um, I guess a lot of boats and a lot of um, industries to sit, sit around here, but uh, much like most downtown areas, these, like a lot of the industry has been pushed out of the downtown and now uh, a lot of these areas have some prime real estate for some parks and office blocks and uh, yeah, I really love the way that they redevelop these areas up. I think it's always really interesting and I love it when they sort of stay true to a little bit of like the industrial past of these areas. I know New York does a really good job of doing that. Um, in Sydney as well, where I live, uh, we've got some like really great, um, you know, old warehouses that sit around here they now have like art installations and cafes and restaurants and stuff but um you know of course there's not that many I mean you have to really stretch your imagination when you're just using vanilla assets uh, so instead I just decided to make a lot of the areas around here parkland we do have a lot of office space and believe I placed down an opera house it might be an art gallery I can't remember what that vanilla building is and there's also an expo center I'm pretty much just finding the vanilla assets that aren't too bad looking uh, which is kind of tricky and <laughs> not great um, let's be honest They're, I think um, Colossal Order and uh, Paradox Interactive have definitely come a long way with the way that they've created these assets um, and man I do miss I badly miss all the great workshop assets but you know what, like, a bit of a stretch of the imagination, they're not too hideous. Um, but I did stick them up here because I do think that they fit in pretty well. Um, there was also a uh, basketball arena that I had here, but there was um, one built by one of my patrons over in the other area where the stadium sits. So I ended up deleting that and making that into a factory, which you'll probably see at some point. Um, but yeah, we do have a really big park there, which I think fits in really nice and adds a lot of... It just increases their land the land value around here. And um, now I'm just putting in some parking lots, which of course don't function. They're purely just there to fill in a little bit of space. And this is actually one of the one areas that I took like direct inspiration from Miami where this uh, monorail line, the people mover underneath it, whole bunch of parking lots. So I decided to use a bit of that. Um, in fact, a lot of that road is very similar to the one in Miami. Um, so you might be seeing quite a lot of similarities. Uh, yeah, and again, shout outs to all the people who are actually from Miami. Again, must be super weird seeing an Australian talk about your city and pronounce everything incorrectly and get like things right and then other things completely off. So <laughs> apologies. Uh, I can't imagine what it'd be like watching an American make a Sydney um, in City Skylines. Um, feel free to do it. Like, I mean, not that you need my permission, but, you know, if you do do it, please hit me up because that would be super interesting. But I don't know why I'm so fascinated about American cities. I just think that they are very interesting and I always like to create them. Uh, probably why I spend so much time building American cities and flying around Google Earth um, around America, probably the most out of any other place. Um, but yeah, just I just think it's pretty fascinating. Um, particularly because Australia, we have barely any cities. We have a couple. I mean, we, we also got more than a couple, but they're just not on the same level as um, cities around the world. Uh, now we're starting to work on a little bit more like closer to the downtown. This area, I wanted to have a lot of um, like plazas and office spaces again taking a lot of inspiration from this exact location in Miami uh, but having a really hard time because you know there's only a few things I can really use and um, not only am I limited with the amount of assets that I have to play with I also want to like smash this out like I don't want to spend ages trying to detail areas because that is definitely not the point of this um, and like I said before I've said this a couple of times but very close you're like dude that looks bloody awful and then when you zoom out and you look at from very far away um not even very far away just like from different angles 
uh, from a little bit further away than I usually take cinematics from or like get views from. Uh, it just looks awesome. It looks really cool when we start building everything up and um, seeing it all come together because it's all really about layout in this series and seeing what we can do with what we are given within the base game and it's not a hell of a lot, let's be honest, um, but I'm really enjoying the smooth FPS. I'm really enjoying the challenge and I think it looks really cool from afar. So um, you guys get to see that very shortly in the cinematics. Um, oh my god, I can't believe I've cut this so short. It, I feel like I'm just on Ramble Street. There's so much I want to talk about. Oh man, can you remind me to make a much longer episode? <laughs> because this is way harder than recording something that's much longer. Um, but as we start getting closer to the cinematics, I am finishing off by creating a uh, helicopter network. I still think these behave kind of weirdly. I, I don't really like that people using it as just like a passenger service. So you will see a hell of a lot of people using this. Um, I feel like it needs to be way more exclusive. Like, you know, you have to be super rich to use helicopters to get from one place or the other. So I feel like, I feel like you should be able to get tax tapes for something like this and like only a handful of people should be using it, but be paying quite a lot to use it. But you know, I didn't create the game. I didn't create the mechanics of it, um, just my opinion. And a fairy to top things off, but do let me know what you think of that fairy because um, it might be a little bit unrealistic where they head. We might um, have to change that up. But guys, that is it for this episode. Far out. I am going to record a much longer episode next time. But um, you will see all the work that I've done off camera. There's quite a lot. So enjoy that. And enjoy the cinematics because I do think they turn out pretty nice. It did take a long time to record these ones. But guys, that is pretty much it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Before I go, I do want to give a special shout out to some of my patrons like Reggie, El Hood, and Simone Peachy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.